Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of 3 Martini Launch Plays Kerbal Space Program. I am 3 Martini Launch and I will be playing Kerbal Space Program. This is episode 4 of my KSP 0.23 career series. Uh, when we last left, here was the state of the um, tech tree. I got some uh, pretty, I think I picked up these two last time, the struts and uh, the extra big, uh, you know, fuel tank. Ah, uh, yeah, I'd lo really love to have some of this stuff, so uh, let's uh, get to it for uh, mission number four. I'm going to go ahead and build a ship to do a Mooner flyby. Now, whenever I uh, build a ship, and science actually kind of throws a monkey to the right a little bit with that, but for the most part, I uh, I uh, do it backwards. I think what's the last thing I'm going to do? The last thing I'm going to do is land on Kerbin. I need a parachute and one of these little puppies here. That's what I need to land on Kerbin. I'm not going to worry about the uh, science where I land anymore. Um, it's gotten small enough that uh, it's not going to be a, a bother to me. Anyways, uh, before I landed on uh, Kerbin, did I say land on the moon? I meant Kerbin. I'm, I'm going to land on Kerbin. Needs a parachute for that, and I'm just going to land the capsule. And as long as I'm here, I'll go ahead and put a... I never really used these much, but yeah, you never know. Um, well, before I land on Kerbin, I've got to get back to Kerbin. So I'm going to put a gas tank and a rocket ship on there. And while I'm there, I'm going to do some science. The reason I'm going the large uh, tank is uh, this one is actually uh, going to do more than get me back from the moon to uh, to Kerbin. It's uh, going to do uh, an orbital insertion. Another uh, spaceship is going to take me out there, but this one's going to do the uh, do the insertion. Uh, the reason for that is otherwise I wouldn't be able to dispose of the other ship uh, properly. Well, let's go ahead and put the science on there that I'm going to do. And again, all I need now is uh, low orbit and high orbit for uh, for the moon. So that's two uh, science canisters. I'm temporarily going to stick a mech jeb on there to show me the stats. This one show me 2269 delta V. That's plenty to uh, do a uh, insertion orbit and then come on back to uh, Kerbin. I could probably go with the half size tank, but I, I just want to be sure. Um, <clears throat> anyways, I was, this is temporary because mech jeb uh, takes, uh, takes energy. Takes uh, no, I don't know. I'm at 18 per hour, and uh, I don't have any way to generate energy yet. So, and you know, I could probably stack this thing up with batteries, but uh, this particular mission is going to be very, very long. Uh, so, uh, um, I don't think I can put enough batteries on here. I'm going to put a couple of batteries on there, but the mech jab isn't coming with me. I'm just having it on there right now to uh, show me the stats of the spaceship. So, anyways, before I do the, H you know, before I land, before I land on, uh, let me put this on there. Before I land on Kerbin and get uh, jetted back into the insertion orbit, I have to get to the moon. So I'm going to need something to do that. Let me put a little steering authority on there. Let's go with this and with this. And I always like the gimbling edges, at least for that center, sec that center section. And it's telling me 1.33 meters per second. Which is uh, which is just fine. Am I got the right engine on there? Cause it's not. Uh, yeah, okay, one point three three meters per second. And uh, twenty seven sixty eight. Oh no, this is a launch vehicle. I need uh, I need something to I need something to push me to the uh, to the moon. No wonder that didn't sound right. And uh, again, it's going to be. Uh, it's about 900, that's 1100, that's plenty, but I'm going to be going into a polar orbit. There might be extenuating circumstances. Let's put that up there. 16 I feel a lot more comfortable with. And then before I get pushed to the moon, I'm going to need to get into orbit. So let's build the thing that's going to put me into orbit. Let's try whoop, whoop, a couple of these. And 1.04, well, that's not uh, that's not nearly enough thrust to weight ratio to get me into orbit. Let's try this. 1.18, I'm feeling a little little bit better. 1.26, that'll do. That'll do just fine. 
and I probably can't fit a lot of struts on here but I'll put some on this could uh, could get a little wobbly and so I'll put a pair of struts here yeah what the heck put a couple of struts Yeah, good enough. I can uh, get these to stick or not. Eh, maybe. Yeah, it might be. Uh, it might be okay. So I go from here to here. Yeah, I'll buy that. And from here to here. No. Here to here. Oh, even worse. Let's try this again. Yeah, that looks like it's doing it. <coughs> and I still don't have fuel line, so it's going to have to be a straight uh, just onion uh, staging, I guess is uh, what they call it. And, uh, I don't mind putting the non-gimbling engine here. 116 is not going to be enough. 153, okay, so what's that? 343, that's not going to be enough. Uh, Delta V to move me. So I'm going to up the symmetry to six. Oops, oops, oops. Up the symmetry to six. Grab this thing and uh, we'll put uh, six of them on there. We got 30, 47. That's still looking a little, uh, little weak, but it did up my. Uh, Thrust to weight ratio. So let's see. Uh, 144. You got 30. Uh, that'll be more than plenty. Let's get some struts on here. And here. And oops, I don't like that one. And no. Delete. Control Z. There we go. And let's put another one up here. And then coming from the inside. strut from uh, the outside engines to the inside both top and bottom and then across uh, all the engines themselves and then I'll put from the uh, main carriage up as uh, high as I can down to uh, down to there and let's put some wings on this puppy and there we go looks pretty good let's get that down to a reasonable level So we got to uh, work out that staging. And then there we go. The uh, launch section is 2. So that's 40, 51, 1600 to get me to uh, the moon plenty. 2200 to insert and uh, come on home. So that should be plenty of power. Let's put uh, some of these on there. And this is going to be mission 4. that and my crew is going to be one two three it's going to be Jerbass comes up in uh, rotation again so uh there we go that about to do it and uh i'll see you ooh, 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 not yet let's get this up here in the right place there we go anyways that ought to that ought to be uh, my spaceship oh did i take we got to take the make job off because that make job takes up uh, energy and i'm not going to have any to spare Uh, now I know if you come in and add stuff it changes your crew lineup back to default okay that time it didn't but I didn't add anything I took it off and it was get onto the launch pad and I'll see you there I haven't decided if that's going to be uh, sped up post commentary or live commentary so I'll go ahead and uh, uh, stop the recording here and uh, make the decision in a, in a few minutes anyways I'll uh, see you on the launch pad 
And here we are on the launch pad. I decided to go with post commentary, being that the video took me you know, well over an hour, a couple of hours, I don't know. Anyways, uh, the uh, launch was uneventful. And uh, you can see me here, circular. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I blew it again and went past my, uh, my window there to dump off that extra stage. Had to turn around, point that program again, separate that stage, and then uh, go ahead and <laughs> circularize my orbit. So there we go with that. And then I start playing with the maneuver node. I'm trying to get into a polar orbit around the moon and I'm playing with the maneuver tuggy thingies and okay, get the ship out of the way there and okay, right there there we go. I okay. I, do, do spin it around a bit. Okay, yeah, change focus to uh, the moon. And okay, no, that, that looks pretty good. Now tug on. See, I clearly, I clearly don't know what I'm doing, because uh, I know there's there's some smart guys out there. Oh no, you gotta add more you know, anti-radial to to get this to you know. No, you're tugging on the wrong one. And uh, eventually, <laughs> however, I do manage to <laughs> get a. Yeah, uh, oh, there we go. Ah, sweet, sweet. There we go. I'm about thirty kilometers out at a polar intercept and then here I go actually executing that and uh, coming on in no it doesn't look very polar oh no and it's disappearing oh my good oh okay it's back it's back we're okay and uh, and uh, yeah yeah there we go got a nice uh, polar intercept and uh, eventually I uh, wind up uh, adjusting that orbit so it goes straight over the North Pole and points more or less to the sun so that on one half of the orbit I'm right over the uh, the sunny side. You can see right there I'm pointing almost right at the sun. And uh, here's the deal. Uh, yeah, I can go over... Uh, um, oh, I did a high orbit uh, um, goo canister and materials lab and crew reports and whatnot earlier. I didn't, uh, didn't show you that here, but uh, I certainly did it. But the idea is when you go over low, uh, low orbit over the various biomes, you can do an EVA report. And I'll be doing a crew report here over each one of the biomes. And there are 15 biomes on, uh, on the moon. So uh, you can see here the EV EVA report, uh, there's the Midlands. So I missed it. I think it was 24 points. Okay, well, there is the Midlands. And uh, then I get, uh, what is it, uh, the Polar Lowlands. Again, I, I didn't see the points, but I think they're all 24 points. And uh, what do I get here? The oh, polar low. I already got polar low lands again. So let's, uh, let's oh no, polar low lands again. Moon's poles. Yeah, again, twenty-four points, just like that. And then uh, here, are, where are we now? Where are we now? We're over um, uh, the Highlands with the twenty-four points. And like I said, there are fifteen. 15 biomes. You go to the, uh, the, the, the Kerbal Space Program wiki, and uh, you'll click on biomes, and it'll, it'll give you a map showing you exactly where all the uh, biomes were. So I went ahead and made a, a little checklist here so I could check off the ones I already had, look at the map, see what I had to do. And again, you're going with the polar orbit. It's going to take you past every single thing. So it's uh, you can hit it. It's just a matter of uh, matter of time. You can see here, uh, you know, whatever, it's 8.30 right now. Uh, you know, Earth time, if you look there in the upper uh, left, uh, and uh, you know, it started, I'm sure, much earlier than that. And you can see it's going to be 5, 10, 15 minutes. So, oh, now it's 8.44, so, you know, that was, I don't know how many minutes passed uh, between that and those old Midland craters. And uh, what do we got? Another another biome oh, we're doing. This is biome after biome after biome. It's uh, amazing. 24 points each uh, for 15. That's, what, 360 for something I don't know it's a, it's a, it's a crap ton plus I got the uh, the materials and uh, then goo for high and low orbit and the crew reports this is going to be some kind of some kind of report by the way I am a three martini lunch I am uh, working on my third martini I am smoking a La Floridita Fuerte is what it looks like. Um, I don't know what they used to be. Uh, it looks to be like a, a Toro Maduro of uh, some kind. A very, a very tasty cigar. And a La Floridita. If you want to get into smoking cigars, La Floridita is very tasty. And uh, you can, uh, if you shop around right, you can pull them in for under two dollars a stick. They're very, uh, very good, uh, very good buy. Mm, good stuff, good stuff. Anyway, so it's still a southwest crater. We're still looking at that uh, uh, biomes. Like I said, there are 15 of them here. And then Lucy got them all. So I'll go ahead and uh, EVA and I collect the data from the uh, from the um, 
Sainz Jr. and the uh, goo canisters. And uh, no, my timer just turned off. Let's see if I can <laughs> get that back. Is it still running? Oh, okay, it's still running. Hope I don't make a little clunk putting it back down. Okay, get all the. Uh, there we go. We got that, and all uh, we have now is to return. I go ahead and uh, go for my uh, polar orbit to a uh, more or less equatorial orbit. Um, again, you know, if I had neck jab, it probably be, it would be perfectly, uh, perfectly circular at zero degrees. But uh, this is <laughs> definitely good enough. Go ahead and uh, drop that down to twenty-four thousand meters. Go ahead and land on uh, the surface of uh, Kerbin there, or Kerbal, whatever the hell the name of that planet is. And watch that thing. Whoa, we're falling. Careful. Okay. And I think I picked up a little more science. There's grass lines hadn't been there before. Did a crew report and you know, whatever from the flight. And I'm going to go ahead and get some samples and EVA report and plant a flag. You can even see my martinis there. Samples from the grasslands. Get back in that capsule and let's see how much science we get. And come on. And it's 666 science. Oh, the uh, science of the beast. And oh, don't, 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 don't click done yet. Uh, maybe some folks want to see uh, what, uh, what uh, there you go. Slowly scroll down. And uh, during the preview, that's awful blurry, but maybe if you save it at high def and pause you can see what all the various things did all those EVAs were 24 points 15 of them plus a few things were at the, like 75 points and 30 points and yeah, a couple of you know what a three and a half or five points nine points 20 points for just for that bringing that ship back so let's go ahead and uh, get into the uh, R&D uh, area there and uh, see what we can buy well with 737 be careful those are 90 a piece eight of them that'll be 720 to buy all Eight of the next tier so I actually get all eight of the next tier um, of course I'm gonna love uh, the fuel lines uh, coming up first that can be a true uh, asparagus staging you don't want to buy that um, uh, I like the additional science offered by that thermometer actually provides a lot of good science uh, the solar panels can't live without those and then you know and then all the rest the uh, that the big uh, skipper engine and not skipper but the mud pedal poodle poodle engine that's the one it's all good stuff. Anyways, I want to thank everybody for all the uh, cards and letters. Thanks for all the wonderful feedback. Uh, keep it coming. Uh, if you like the video, like the video. If you don't like the video, like the video anyways. Um, message me, text me, leave a comment, do whatever you want. I just want to thank you all for showing up. And uh, good night, everybody. And uh, you too, Mrs. Miller.